avid Media Composer editors know that the best way to work is to customize your user settings the way you want to work. You'll find settings under the File menu. You can, of course, map this to a key, or this could be docked into the new UI if you would like to do that. But I do want to point out also that we'd have tabbed the settings through Project Settings, User Settings, and Site Settings. And your user settings, you can simply go in and change things like your bin settings, your composer settings, your timeline, and your interface. Now you'll see here that the interface I currently have set up is a darker interface with my highlight color of gold, but I'd like to create another setting. So if I right click, you'll see that I can open up the settings, delete the setting, duplicate, or restore to default. I'm gonna duplicate my setting. I'm gonna call the first one my dark setting because you can name any settings that you have here. The second one I'm going to call light because I want that to be a more light look. We'll activate the light setting. I'll double click. Let's change it to be a lighter value. Change the highlight to be blue. We'll apply that and we'll see that change. But what I want to point out is I can now quickly switch between my different settings. Create as many settings as you would like. Save them duplicate them, do whatever you'd like. Again, fully being able to customize that at any point. Open, delete, duplicate, restore to default. Being able to change the settings the way you want to work with Avid Media Composer.